Today we classify Wing Chun into different eras. Okay? Modern day Wing Chun is really characteristic by internationalization. Okay, now Wing Chun is like every part of the world. Okay? Uh, primarily is due to popularity of uh, Grandmaster Yip Man. So we're gonna perform a Siu Lim Tao, which is uh, one of the foundation form of uh, Wing Chun uh, with um, background coming from this particular era. This is sometimes we call it international or Hong Kong era because there are different variations of Wing Chun due to the evolution. Sifu Sachi from Chicago. He's going to be doing the Yip Man version or we call the Hong Kong version because actually Yip Man have many great teachers nowadays so there is not one standardization of Yip Man's version. This is one interpretation. Now, uh, for Siu Lim Tao, the word um, is expressed in the Hong Kong version as little ideas from the beginning. Some variation of the meaning is little practice from the beginning. Okay, the idea is to understanding the major concept, center line, the human have what we call the gate theories, so most of the fundamental techniques, mechanics, and concept are being trained here. Now, Hong Kong Wen Chen is again due to popularity of Bruce Lee and Yip Man, okay? But where did Yip Man Wen Chen came from? Originally, he was coming from, uh, he actually uh, left China from the city of Fasan. He learned his Kung Fu in Fasan. Okay, and Fasan Wen Chen is a public version of the Wen Chen that came from the Red Opera, the Hong